Welcome to my YouTube channel, Big Country. Before you leave, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification where you know and will be notified when I put new videos up. Also, come over, hit me on my Instagram, Crown Royal 2019. And while you're doing that, also hit me up on Twitter, Crown Royal at Crown Royal 2016. Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? You know who this is. Big country. Yo, man, what's up, man? Give me that thumbs up button. When y'all subscribe, hit that bell notification. Okay, okay, let's talk about this right here. This is the biggest thing that we want to talk about. Jordan Miles, formerly ACH of Ring of Honor, who is down at the NXT. And everybody know about this this T-shirt that had been made right here. You know, disrespect for a black face. Basically what we call it. We're African Americans, we call it a black face, you know. Everybody know about the black face that is, is, is a racer thing against African Americans. In case of all of y'all uh, people don't know what the black face is, you know, back in the day, um, white people used to play us. They have the they have the makeup, the black makeup on their face, the white be around the eyes, the white be around the mouth, you know. They have the glo white gloves on, you know, and just cover the rest of their body. And we just call that the black face. And they basically just to smile and act dumb. And that's the way they do to imitate African Americans. You know, we was a joke. We was entertainment to them. And now, um, it's offensive to us as African Americans. So this right here basically um, comes out. And this is what we call the blackface, which is disrespectful for us. You know, um, Jordan Miles, who formerly ACH had, um, basically he, he uh, went to Twitter and he went on a Twitter tirade on this right here. WWE on the 27th, um, it came out with a... Uh, with a uh, statement basically saying that Abbott Hardy Jr., a.k.a. Jordan Miles, approved a t-shirt for sale for Always We Work. And, and see, this, 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 this will get me right here. Now, you read this. I mean, you read this right here. They say, trying to say the man approved this shirt and... That was kind of got me kind of puzzled, kept me kind of, you know, uh, uh, stick my camera up, got me kind of, um, thinking, you know, he approved his shirt. <laughs> it's hard for me to sit here and think that this man approved this right here because, you know, the fact is, if you're African American, you know, we know what this means. We, we know how defensive against our culture it is. So, it's hard for me to sit here and think he approved this shirt. Basically, what I'm thinking, looking at this right here, WWE trying to cover up. They're trying to cover up what they done. And, you know, this is this is WWE. Come on, we know the history of WWE. We know the history against African Americans. They stereotype what they do against African Americans. We know that. I mean, they was doing it for a very long time. They were doing it back in the seventies. They were doing it back in the eighties. They were doing it back in the nineties, early two thousands. So they was always stereotype. We did like Mark Henry, always the angry black guy. Our truth, the, you know, the the goofball, you know, not smart upstairs, you know, New Day. They always joking around and having fun and stuff like that there you know the typical stereotype you not only african americans where they do mexicans you remember back in the day they had um it was a uh, super crazy Ju Juventus guerrero 
and psychosis do to come out on lawnmowers. Basically saying that the Mexicans cut the, cut our grass, cut the grass and stuff, you know, they do field work. You know, it always was stereotyped here at the WWE, you know, so it's, don't, it's not different now. Here's a, another tweet that came out. And we say Jordan Miles say, you know, a fan. Oh, don't know Cali, Cali, Cali Canyon. Say, uh, go, go, Miles. I went to search. Looked like they already made a new one. And he went on, it doesn't matter if the shirt was replaced. The fact that they even made the first one overshadowed everything till we get what we deserve. You work for this company, number one. Um, you work for this company, and so it made me feel that maybe you, you, you have to watch what you're doing. You, uh, hey, yeah, I'm looking at this right here, November 22nd. Um, Tom Hanks got a new movie coming out. And you remember when we was kids? I'm 50, so we know we was little kids, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Well, I guess they come up with a story telling about the Mr. Rogers neighborhood. Let's let's begin back to this right here. That was a little snippet news for you right there, you know. Um, so um, he he worked for this company, and and he's going off in this company right here, and he's going he uh, to I don't know he's trying to get fired or what the deal is, but you know. I'm really thinking, okay, what, what the purpose of him going off so much for? With this right here is another tirade that he went on. The whole WWE system is a fraud. They create a system where you can't trust anyone. You grow cold and you grow apart from what you love the most. The fact that at Hako is still employed after giving the locker room and apology for being caught says enough for the hashtag for the culture. You can well say that uh, he's going to be on that roster much longer. You know, you, you can say that real quick. He's not going to be m most on the roster, but WWE going to be smart enough not to just fire him. Just like that, because first of all, it will be a uh, uh, look bad on that account of they fire him for that, you know. So, but don't worry, you got her, you have to worry about it. he 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 will be gone. Okay, this right here is now the new Jordan Mild t shirt that they come up with. What the de look at the difference, no smiley face, no more, no, no you know, no, it's different. You know, and basically he was saying this is a t-shirt that he did approve. The other, the other t-shirt that the blackface, what we call it, he didn't approve that. This is the t-shirt he said that was shown to him and he approved. So my thing is what happened to the mix-up? Where the mix-up at? Okay. One shirt came out, he didn't saw, he didn't approve. And this shirt right here, which they got on the WWEshop.com, is the one he say he did approve. So, so to me, that somehow there was a big mix-up that instead of WWE trying to cover up, they need to get involved to say why the mix-up, why this shirt came out. Now, I'm on this thing right here, you know, and... Jordan Miles, he basically, he, he, he went on a Twitter rant. He, he went on a Twitter rant. He said, WWE don't care about black people. No, we know that. We know that. You know, and before all of y'all smart asses say, well, Kobe Kingston was the WWE champion. Okay, yes, he was, because you know one thing? It wasn't meant for him. It was meant for that Ali guy. Kobe just when Kobe, when Kobe Kingston replaced him, the fans just got behind him, and like almost like Daniel Bryan, yes movement. People 
basically put Kofi at that top that basically WWE had no 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 choice of doing it. Look what happened. Got on Fox, the All Races Network, the Trump Network, and what did they did? They did not want that belt on a black guy. So what did they did? Man, and I say that because let me tell you something. That was basically what it is, okay? They did not want that WWE on a black guy. Everybody know that Fox pretty much tell WWE what they want. Unlike USA, Fox controlling what they want on their TV. They are very active, hands-on. What they want on their show, what they don't want on their show. And you don't think that somehow they say we don't want Kofi Kingston as a champion. They put it on Brock. Come on. And the way they had Brock just beat Kofi. And all of a sudden, Kofi going on doing other things. He's not He's not thinking about to getting the title back. He's not thinking about moving up. He, he back with New Day like it ain't nothing. See though, so and look look at the new day. They losing. New day lose. I think they lose every match since they've been on Fox. Now I might be wrong because I don't really look at it much. But they but New Day lost almost every match. So you don't think that's a Fox influence? And see and right here. This right here is always on his Twitter page that he went on a tirade. Did a video he posted on Twitter and he made this statement say WWE system, blah blah blah, fuck WWE and get a WWE the middle finger and stuff. Now, I'm gonna tell you about Twitter. I'm gonna tell you about white privilege, okay? White privilege, I'm pushing that word, is a double standard in this country. That white people could do one thing while black people can't do it. Black people held accountable for things where white people don't. Now you have a president of the United States go on a Twitter war, make all the, the nasty things he say by people, the, uh, the, the, the disrespect that he used. You got white supremacists goes on and post stuff. And say things about black people, racist racist stuff by black people, and they do nothing. They do nothing. Twitter won't ban their account, they won't delete their account, Twitter won't do nothing. But if a black person do it, look. This is uh Jordan Miles. This is Twitter. Look, account suspended. This account has been suspended. Really, Twitter? <laughs> really? All the white supremacists, all the things that they said against us, y'all don't do nothing. But this man right here is even though I agree and don't agree, don't agree his, of his rant, you just spend his account. Double standard in this country that we have here. So let me end this right here. What do you think about the controversy that going on with Jordan Miles, WWE, Twitter, um, yeah, what do you think about it? Put a comment in the comment section. Peace.